¿Qué pasó, Barça Fanáticos? This is Anna to do another boxing analysis. This boxing analysis is a post fight analysis between Anthony Yarde and his opponent that he knocked out so quickly on the undercard of James DeGale versus Caleb Truex, which is on right now. Now, <clears throat> a lot of you are like, who is this guy that he even faced? Like, I don't even understand, like, how. Um, you know what I'm saying? People are saying, oh, this guy, uh, you know, he gave him trouble and, you know, he, he hit him pretty hard. You know, it was it was a good, good, good fight. Um, a lot of people just don't understand boxing and understand that if our opponent is motivated, if they're a veteran, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Um, the red corner, you got to understand that. Anthony Yarde was tested in the first round. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't an easy fight. He had to work and work and work for the, for, you know, for the knockout. Um, yeah, it came early in the in the third round, but you gotta understand this guy came to fight. You know, I feel like he's not only is he special, like what they're talking about right here, but he was. He had to really go through adversity. And when you have to go through adversity, that shows the merit, the character of a true champion. So, at 175, I want to see him face Sergey Kovalev. I want to see him face uh, Arthur Betterbeev. I want to see him face Robert Garcia's fighter. Uh, uh, what's the guy's name? He's from the Ukraine. Um, Vasil's very high on him. I can't think his name. That's Rachinko something Chinko. Uh, I can't think his name. But right now, these Ukrainians and Russians are beast mode at 175 pounds. I really want to see what happens to see Anthony Yard get in the ring with a guy like that. But he's still young. He's only 14 and old. Uh, I believe he's 14 and old, 14 knockouts. It could be 14 over 12. Now I have to look back at his record. But I know it's a very high knockout ratio. Um, this is just a quick fight update. You know what I'm saying? If you guys want to see the knockout, um, I was watching it live. Let me go ahead and go to it. Hold on. Ooh, good right. Here we go. For him to have so much muscle, it's amazing for him to move so fast. Very patient. Good straight right hands to set up the left hook. Right uppercut. Wildly misses, but then beautiful uppercut. Nice left uppercut. That's a special talent right there, guys. It's a special, special fighter right there. 175 pounds. Anthony Yard from the UK. Great killer instinct. Very patient with the quality shots, though. Some guy named Coaching. But they say he was quality. He gave him a good test. That's what I wanted to get to, my people. Um, I know it's only a five minute video, but in the comment section below, who do you want to see Anthony Yard face? I mean, it's just so many options for the guy. Um, like I said, I just want to see what he got. Um, he, like I said, he got tested, he got hit with a really big right hand, big left hook in the second round. But recovered and showed, like I said, just great, great ring generalship in the third round. For him to really turn it around and not let this guy continuously land punches on him and figure out what he was doing wrong, which is so important. A lot of boxers don't do that. They still get hit with that same punch. And like Teddy Atlas and many, many, many trainers before said, if you keep getting hit with the same punch, 
then you must not, you know, be that intelligent. And that's true. You should figure out why that punch is landing on you each and every round. But anyways, big up to Anthony Yard. Big up. Much respect. Respect. Uh, like I said, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Do not forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And hit that little bell icon to your right hand uh, of the screen. So, get back to you. Peace.